In this video we're going to introduce the steps required to produce PDF and HTML based standard work instructions. The advantage of this of course is it becomes independent of Timer Pro completely. But there are a number of steps that have to be taken to set up that particular configuration. So here we are with the process here. We go to our summary and here we have our work instructions. If I generate a work instruction right here and I send it out and I'm just going to call it my uh, test A click on open and click on OK. Give it a few seconds and these work instructions will start to generate. Now when it's finished, if you look at any of the uh, links that have been generated, they're actually pointing to, let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better here, you're actually pointing to a particular video and then the numbers that follow that video link you see in the comments there, that's a starting and ending position. Now you can't have those when you're sending data out to PDF or to HTML. The uh, PDF document and the HTML is not capable of finding a particular place to start playing the video from and stop playing at another point like Timer Pro is. So what we need to do is we need to go back in here and we're going to set up a, a number of different uh, steps here. The first thing we do is come over here and we're going to go to this area here called Video Processing in the right. It's in the summary area over in the right Video Processing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the clips. So each of these particular steps in this process here has a video as associated with it. And we're going to click on the extract clips. And it's going to take it from the source video and extract the particular starting and ending point. So we've just got a small file for each. So it says extracting a video clips may take some time. Continue. Say yes. The process will change. The red indicates that they haven't been processed and you can see it processing each of the video clips in turn. What it's doing here is finding the video, it's finding the starting point, it's finding the ending point, it's extracting that little piece of video and creating a standalone file. So obviously depending on the size of your process, this could take a little bit of time here. see here all of my video chips have turned green which means that we were successfully able to extract the video clips and it tells us that the video clip extraction is complete. Click on the OK and then we can go to the status summary over here and the status summary here is going to show us these extracted files. So you can see these numbers have been generated for each of the uh, clips in our process here. These are unique numbers, there is never a duplicate number timer pro so you can see they're all unique here all the way down here and they've been placed into a folder in your timer pro package so if we come out to our explorer here we go to documents we under libraries documents applied computer services you'll find youtube vids right here and if you open that up you'll find every single one of these files is listed here plus many more here now the problem is obviously if you do this for many processes you're not going to know exactly which files belong to which process. Only Timer Pro knows that. So we give you a little option here that's very useful here. So if I come over here and I click on the package clips, and it may ask me for a particular folder, so I'll create a new folder here, and I'm going to call this process clips. I'm going to get into that folder, and then I just say save. And what it will do, it will just copy all of the clips unique to this particular process into that one folder. You can see the process clips here. So now you have it in one particular place, work instructions, process clips. And you can see they're all here. Right? So these are the files that we want to deal with here. So at this point what we've done, we've extracted it, extracted our clips and we've created a package. And then what we want to do to make them available for calling from the internet so the idea here is you take these clips and provide them to your IT department because what they're going to do, they're going to put them onto a drive that is accessible via the internet. Only clips accessible via the internet can be called from PDF documents and HTML documents. In the next video we'll show you how to do that. 